Would it be possible to use rainwater, water collected by a dehumidifier, water from a water well, pond slash river water? If the above sources of water can be used, how would the filtration be like for the water before I can add it to the tank? The school of aquaponics. So yes, absolutely. Um, as far as rainwater, rainwater is a really good source to use. Um, it doesn't contain any minerals in there, so you pretty much have a fresh, uh, fresh water that you're putting in your uh, aquaponics system. You can see it's raining right now. Um, so I would love to have some of this water inside of my aquaponics system, but it is inside of a greenhouse, so I won't be getting any of it. But um, it's a good source, though. But the only bad part about um, rainwater a lot of times is, is that you actually have to wait for it to come. See, here in Florida, we've been having a drought uh, from the past uh, spring all the way up till now. We haven't had really had any rain, so this is like the second time that we've had rain for the past four months, which is crazy. It's like a... Um, uh, a record of how long it's been since we've had any rain so it's looking a little dry out there out there with the, uh, the people who are out there doing the back breaking soil work it's not looking too good but in the aquaponic system in here whoo we're doing good because we have well water which leads me to the next source of water that you asked about well water well water so well water um, perfect source it's a great source um, and it's it's probably the preferable method of um, adding water to the system um, it's it doesn't really have any type of uh, biological activity going on meaning there's not going to be not going to be any pathogens that are going to be um, released into the water so that is a one thing that we're definitely going to be uh, uh, wanting to have in our aquaponic system well, that's what we use here we use the well all type of well stuff going on, you know. I have it hooked up to the main aquaponic system, so it's on automatic mode. So the the water just distributes whenever I need water inside of the um the system. Whenever the system the the level water goes down. Woo! Now the bad thing about the well water is that sometimes there is a lot of um. There are a lot of minerals that are inside of the well water. They get picked up um, uh, through the bottom of the well, and they um, a lot, especially a lot of calcium. Um, there's uh, phosphorus, potassium, things that need even some magnesium that get picked up. And a lot of times, if you have too much, too much in your system, then you have to use. You may have to get you one of these, an RO filter. This right here is, um, especially if you have like parts per million that are 200, even 150 sometimes, 250, you have parts per million around there when you check your water source using an EC meter. Hold on, let me get the EC meter real quick. Help out some of the biscuit headed growers real quick. Bring me over here to my secret stash and get, and get out the EC meter. EC meter. So you use something like this, well you will use this and um, you put this in your water source and check. It'll tell you how many parts per million of a certain, not a certain, but a, a total concentration of nutrients that you have in your water source. And then from there, you can determine um, if you need to um, use a reverse osmosis filter or you should go get it checked first and verify, see what's in there, and then uh, consider getting a reverse osmosis filter. Now, in regards to the dehumidifier, hold on. Ooh, it's humid out here right now. So we can definitely pick up some dehum dehumidified water right now. Woo! But you can use the dehum you can use dehumidified water. I don't see an issue with using dehumidified water. But the only thing is the amount of electricity that it's gonna run you to use a uh, water. Well, it depends on how big your system is. If you're using a, 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 if you have a large system and you're depending on dehumidified water, then it's probably going to be a lot, it's probably going to cost a lot um, as far as electricity goes. Um, and you're probably better off doing some other technique like just harvesting rainwater or just using um, 
uh, well water. That would probably be the better the better option. So that's the only that, that would be the only uh, issue that I see with the dehumidified water is the cost. Um, so I know you said before that there the cost of water out there is expensive, but the cost of dehumidifying some water might be even more expensive. Woo! What's your name? Chance. Chance? All right. That's Chance, man. <laughs> All right, Chance. Take it easy. Thanks a lot. I'll tell you a secret. The aquaponic guy gets love everywhere he goes. This lake right here is actually supposed to be closed, but the city workers, they let me come in here because they heard I was the aquaponics guy with a balanced system. They said, we don't allow biscuit-headed growers in here, but for you, we heard you got a balanced system. We'll go ahead and let you in. So this actually is supposed to be closed. That's why there's nobody here. Nobody here right now. Usually this thing is packed. So they let the aquaponics guy get in here so I can go ahead and produce some content for you guys. So the pond. So as far as the pond water goes, this is something that I just I wouldn't use. I would not use the pond water. The reason being is because especially places like this, pond places like this, we have all these people jumping in here. You have all type of uh, organisms inside of here. And there's different type of, um, uh, um, what, oh, what's the word? I can't even remember the word right now. What the heck is the word? Um, pathogens inside of here. And that's definitely not a good thing. You don't want to be introducing foreign pathogens inside of your aquaponic system. That's one of the, a good way to, um, to cause fish disease to uh, outbreak and infectious disease to outbreak inside of your system. So this is something I, I wouldn't recommend. All the different type of pathogens and different type of diseases out here. So it's not something, and it wouldn't. Even, I, I wouldn't even say it would be even considered something that's worth um, even trying to filter. It's just not worth it. I would use a different. I definitely use a different type of method. Can you do it? Absolutely, you can do it. The biscuit headed grower can figure out anything. You can make anything work. Absolutely, you can you can you can figure out a way to do it, but you know, it's just not worth the time It's not worth the time or the effort and it's not worth the risk in my opinion the aquaponic God's opinion. It's not <laughs>